Today is 1 December 2023. I have been uh, kind of befuddled by this thing. Recently, I did a video about blessings in family and Thanksgiving Day and understanding each other and trying to get through it all together. And, uh, together. Not just trying to get through it. Get through it together to where there's something that you can fucking say, yeah, okay, we did it. We can move to the next step now. Something like that. I did a video on it. And I was befuddled. Not immediately. Yeah, I was befuddled immediately. Because somebody sent a comment saying something about, uh, yeah, staying away from narcissistic people and those that have nothing nice to say about anybody. And I was befuddled because I thought that was a compliment to my video. And I looked back at the comment later and I said, I think somebody's talking about me. I said, oh, you don't get it, do you? This is just the thoughts that go through a person's mind. This is something you may not be aware of, is that the people you are with every day don't think like you do. And the things you like about them, as long as that's all you see, they're fantastic. But as soon as you say something that bothers them, oh, asshole. 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 That's an imitation from the movie of uh, uh, Botek or whatever that is. The hell. Bubba Hotep with uh, that guy that played in Evil Dead, which was filmed in Hell, Michigan, where I am. Even though they impeached me, they did not fucking criminalize me, and I did not, I did not resign. I am the mayor of Hell, Michigan. That's where that movie was done. And whatever I was getting to there, you'll get it. It's coming here. The point is, I looked and I said, oh, I think that was somebody talking about me. And this is somebody that doesn't understand me. I'm making jokes on you. Not that I'm making jokes on you. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing about you. But there, there's a humility. There's a humility that leads to humble nature. We think he was humiliated and they laugh and they thought embarrassed. Well, maybe the, a little bit of embarrassment is what it takes to get to the next step. Sometimes you have to accept that you weren't thinking the right way and you're like, fuck, I look like an asshole then. And you're humble. Humility, humble, all that stuff. But for somebody to call me a narcissist, I took the damn, oh, I responded. I, I said, oh, I, I sent smiley faces laughing. I like, I, for a minute, thought it was a compliment or something, uh, but I was wrong. I had a friend once used to say he, he'd only been wrong once, and it was because he thought he was wrong but it turned out he was right. So that was the time he was wrong. Let's talk about narcissism. This, 
If I'm narcissistic, it's because of you. Growing up. Just looking in the mirror and seeing myself as... I look more and more like an Eastern Black Russian all the time. And uh, what that says to me is just plain and not worthy of looking at. Why would you bother getting horned out about some just bland person? But through my life, I heard I'm gorgeous, I'm handsome, I'm smart, I'm, I'm wise, uh, oh, good looking. Um, I think we already got to that one. And, and a damn good looking white boy. Just four years ago, I was thinking it's been a long time since I've been called a damn good looking white boy. And a woman came up to me and she says, you are a beautiful white man. And I said, thank you. Okay, so if I'm narcissistic, it's your fault. You people keep telling us these things that are supposed to make us feel so good about ourselves. Never knowing whether you're going to want to use us to get your own way. But always willing to help. Ha! Took a test on narcissism once in one of my psychology classes. I scored very low, like about 30% of what it takes to be a narcissist. If I were a narcissist with 30% of narcissism, that would make me a goddamn mentally defected, retarded human being that's not able to exist in this world. And I'm taking it out of it. I'm taking myself out. I'm slipping. Maybe they're right. I don't fucking find people that are in control and act like them so that they bring me up behind them to take over and keep this whole fucked up thing going on. That's not me. My mother, I will tell you though, if I do happen to be a handsome man, my mother was the queen of Johannesburg. What do you think of that? 16. 15, 14, she must have been 14 or 15 at the time because my dad knocked her up. Uh, I'm, by the math that I consider for my oldest brother, was probably on her 16th birthday. So it must have been while she was 15, she was Queen of Johannesburg, and then she ended up with a Pollock. Half hillbilly, half farmer, half Pollock. What can you expect of this? I love you, baby. It's Christmas time in the city. But being that my mother was queen of Johannesburg, she had already been aware of, of the beauty and the, the directions it could take her. I might have taken the wrong path, it got to me. And as she got older, she was aware of of her aging looks because that's the only thing anybody rewarded her with was her beauty all this time. And people say it enough, you fucking believe it. And what you believe from believing what they say is that that's the only thing you're good for. And so I watched her, she, she would pull her eyes back and say, I wonder what I would look like if I 
Oh, you beautiful mother. I don't see your face, I see your soul. How do I see your soul? It's because it's crawling all over me. We're inextricably linked. So if you want to call me a fucking narcissist after telling me I'm gorgeous all these years and as I slide into oblivion like I do, um, I don't know. Maybe you should look back a few years. Maybe you should accept that beauty will always crumble if it's only visual. The beauty of a soul, the beauty of a heart, the beauty of a man that doesn't have anything nice to say to anybody. Nothing nice to say to anybody. That beauty, it may be misinterpreted. Some people don't know when we're not laughing at them. We're laughing about them. And these are my favorite comments. Ah, narcissists looked into the water and fell in love with himself and was drowned by it. <laughs>